welcome back to another video. So, my channel's name is Life with Rian, and I chose that title for my name for this channel because this channel is basically just like an update or an outlook on the adventures I go on or what I'm going through in life. Like, it's kind of just like a little update on everything. And so today, it, today's video is going to be a little different than my food challenges and different videos like that. Today is an update on these two girls. This one's Martha. She has the most white. And this one is Trixie. I've had Trixie for a year and a half now and probably going on a year for Martha here. So I love these girls a lot as I do every one of my pets that I have and every animal out there. So Trixie here had a little tumor on her and it was I probably noticed it around April or May or so, and it was about the size of a pea when I first noticed it. And so I was like, okay, I'll keep my eye on it, as my mother would say. <laughs> and so I did, and it kept growing and growing and growing. And eventually, it got so big, she couldn't move her right leg. So... So, as it got the size of a tangerine, I was like, maybe I should go get it checked out, see what's going on, see if I should remove it. The vet said that it is most likely non-cancerous and that it is just a mammary tumor, which is very common in female rats especially. And so, I was like, okay, maybe I'll just wait, see what's going on. So she develops, starts to develop a little scab where it rubs on the ground. And I'm like, I don't know. So a little bit on down the road, I decide, okay, let's schedule this appointment. Let's go ahead and do the surgery. Well, as you can tell, I obviously went with the surgery from the rest of this video, as you can tell. And people always say, well, why would you do that? It's just a rat. I'm like, okay, but would you do it for a dog or a cat or something else? Well, a rat's life expectancy is only like three, three years or so. Okay, but you don't know if your dog's gonna get hit by a car or your cat's gonna run off. Like, you just never know. And so, you love these animals with all your heart. And they're basically like your kids to you. So, why would you not take care of them? Well, how much was your rat in the first place? Trixie here was only $2. Martha here was only 30 Watson was free to us. So... Why should we treat any of them any different? Exactly. So these are my two little girls and people may be disgusted by having a pet rat. But to be fair, they are a hundred times better than hamsters. They have never once bit me. If they did, it was just a little nibble because they thought it was food. So it didn't break skin, it didn't hurt, it just a little, a little like boop, and because they were gentle and it didn't hurt. So if I were to recommend any small animal to anybody, I would recommend getting a rat. Two rats because they're social animals and they need a buddy. Trixie is here quarantined from Martha for one or two weeks, so that way she can heal up from her 
little surgery. Martha, of course, gets the big cage because she was already in there. And this way, Mar Trixie probably won't be roaming around much anyway since she is injured, obviously. But yeah, I just wanted to show everybody my pet rats since I never really talk about them. And I wanted to do a, a little update. Trixie's doing fantastic. The doctor said that she did great coming out of anesthesia. And I am very fortunate enough that she made it through the surgery. And Martha over here is just being Martha. So they are both doing excellent. And if you want more updates on the rats or more rat videos, comment down below. I never really say comment down below too much. So just say, yeah, hey, I want more rat videos and I'll post them. Um, look, they're kissing through the cage. But yeah, I just wanted that update. I just wanted to let everybody know that I love my pets no matter what they are or how much they cost. I'm going to take care of them the best I can. So, if you would, like this video if you liked it. If you didn't, dislike it. I don't care. If you want to subscribe to see more updates on my life or see different adventures that I go on or whatever, subscribe and... Hey guys, so don't mind my messy hair or whatever, but I am here at the vet and Trixie is inside right there. I have not seen her in 24 hours. And so, I have been worried so much. Like, I already worry about everything already. But, I have been so worried all day. From the moment I dropped her off last night till I got the phone call today. I've been so worried. I've only cried once. And it was only for a little bit. So, that's not too bad for me. <laughs> but, I am going to go in there and get her. So excited to see her and I'm so glad that she's okay. So here it goes. Alright, I have her in the car now, and so she's doing well, and she's pretty sleepy from all the drugs, I guess, and she's been really thirsty and hungry, which makes sense, but everything went well, so now I just need to keep her quarantined from Martha and for, I think, a week or two give her pain medicines and stuff make sure she doesn't open her sore or I mean her wound 
And so, yeah, definitely a lot more than what I was told, but that's okay. I would do it for Watson and do it for Coco. So why not do it for her? <laughs> so that's this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's just a little touch up on what we went through today. It's been crazy and I'm glad that she's okay. I'm glad that she is eating and drinking and everything. And I'm just glad that I get to take her home alive. <laughs> so that's the main thing. But yeah, I'm excited. I can now worry less. And I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.